With some programming basics behind us, it's time to take a look at scripts and functions. Programmers use scripts and functions when blocks or portions of a larger program are required to be executed often. Using scripts and functions allows programmers to drastically improve their productivity by making it easy to repeat common tasks. Whilst multi-line commands can be executed in the MATLAB command window using shift enter between the lines, this can become a tedious process and not conducive to repeatable work. A script is a file that contains a sequence of commands that can be executed by MATLAB without user interaction. In the example, I have created a script called myfirstscript.m. If I go to the command window and type the name of the script I created, all the lines of code in the script I created are executed. Therefore, every time I want these three lines of text printed on the screen, all I need to do is type in my first script in the command window. This is how you become more productive. A script file can also be called a macro or batch file because the commands are executed as a batch. Script files in MATLAB are stored with the .m file extension. MATLAB can be considered a scripting language environment because of its inherent support for running script files either via the user interface or programmatically, that is, by calling the file name from within the command window. You can access all tools to create new scripts and functions from the Home tab. To create a new script file, select New Script or use the keyboard shortcut Control N. Once inside the MATLAB editor, type your desired commands or functions including comment lines to help you remember the purpose of the script. Notice the collection of icons at the top of the editor to easily insert comments and indents. Once you save your file, it will appear in the current folder next to your command window prompt. You can now call your script from the prompt whenever you need it. As you start to create more scripts, you may choose to establish a folder for each new project and store the scripts and functions related to that project inside the same folder. So now we know what a script file is and how it can help programmers repeat common tasks. So how is this related to functions? In fact, what is a function? You may have heard the word function used in mathematics to denote a way one variable behaves relative to another variable. For example, here we have an equation that shows us y is a function of x. But more importantly, with this function description, we can calculate the value of y for every conceivable value of x. In programming terms, we could say x is the input argument of this function and y is the output argument now. From a programming perspective, the description in equation form isn't enough. MATLAB requires a particular way of describing the function so that it can understand a few things. When MATLAB sees the word function, it will automatically assume that we are ready to declare a new function. And this will continue to listen to the description of the function until it sees the keyword end to close the function. Any input and output arguments must be declared using the specific MATLAB template. So let's see how we go about creating this function using the inbuilt MATLAB template. To create a new function file, select New Function. This will open up the editor just like before. However, this time a predefined template is inserted to help you write your function. Immediately after the function keyword, you will see square brackets. These denote the output or multiple output arguments that will be calculated by the function. After the equal sign, the default name for this function is untitled. But of course we can change that. And finally, inside the round brackets is where we place the input or multiple input arguments. Let's now replace the template with the function that we would like to implement complete with name x as input, y as output, 
and the mathematical description inside the body of the function itself. We then need to save the function m file with the same name of the function. Now we have a function file saved and you can see it has a different icon compared with the script file we saved earlier. Function files have a red F and X in the icon. Back in the command window we can call the function we have written with various inputs and store the answer in output variables. Notice that we do not have to use the variable names that were used inside the function. The x and y variables in the function file are called dummy variables and only exist within the function as a way of describing that function's behavior. In fact, by choosing to use the array version of the power operator inside our function, we can also apply our function to each element of an array. Here is an example of an array called inputs, which is initialized as a 10 element vector with the numbers from 1 to 10. By using our function on this array, we are able to obtain an output array where each element is the output of our function from the corresponding input. The name function is one of many names that are used by various programming languages to mean a section of program that is removed from the main program or console, given a specific name and clearly defined with all input and output arguments. This process of defining a reusable function allows us to call upon the function as many times as needed. It is important to note that MATLAB functions aren't just limited to performing mathematical calculations and can perform many other tasks. Now that you know how to create script and function files, try creating some for yourself.